Okay, thanks for coming back. I hope you guys are having an outstanding day. And I just wanted to take a second and show you guys what I've been up to. Um, this is a job I'm doing for a friend of mine who's getting married next month. And these are coasters. So let me go ahead and go over here and show you what, oh, what I got going on. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways, and i got to send him this. And we'll see which one he likes. But he hasn't seen this one yet. With the black fill color. He has seen it like this. But I'm going to send it to him like that and see what he thinks. And then after I get a response, why don't you guys post down there which ones you guys like better too. Kind of give me an idea of how I should proceed in the future with other, other presentations. But I really really like it. I think it came out really good. Get rid of these here. Come on. There we go. So, I'm going to cut one, hopefully Wednesday, if I don't get the machine uh, spindle too late. And with a little luck, maybe I can uh, get it painted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape, uh, the blue painter's tape across the top of it. Just on a try it and see if it'll route if it'll carve through it, leaving this covered so that I can just take my black paint and just dab it on quickly and then peel the tape off and be done. I'm hoping it's that simple because I'm not the strongest painter in the world and there'll be lots of touch up, but I'll probably end up having to sand the whole top down after I paint it. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully my idea works and it saves me a lot of cleanup time. But if he likes this, well, he likes it already, but if, you know, um, I'll be doing 50 of these, whether it's like this or like that. He needs about 50 of them. So we're off to a good start here. Post in the comments what you like. Uh, he is going to want some more of these, it looks like, for his car club. He's in a Subaru car club, and it sounds like they want about 50 of those. And... Uh, I didn't know what to charge. I just told him for right now, let me just finish these and get an idea of you know, how much work's involved with them, but probably a couple bucks each. Um, we'll see. You know, I, I don't know. You know, the wood's free to me, so that's no big deal. I'm going to put Thompson's water seal on them so that if people actually do use them, the condensation doesn't uh, make them crack after a while from getting wet and drying out, getting wet and drying out. Uh, but I think more than likely, stuff like novelty, things like this, most people aren't going to use them. But you never know. If they're going to use it, I want it to be ready to be used. That simple. You know, I think that's about all I got for you this time. Um, yeah, well, if you like this video, I uh, was messing around and I'm starting a series of tombstones where I'm going to just take people from my favorite shows that have died, like in... Game of Thrones or uh, The Walking Dead, you know, things like that. And I'm going to do tombstones for the deceased cast members. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you might want to check them out. It'll at least get a little humor out of it. It's kind of fun. And I'm going to probably sell them too a little bit later on after I get one made and actually perfect the technique and learn how to use the machine perfectly. Uh, and I'm comfortable selling these things, and I'm going to probably start selling them. But for now, it's fun just designing them like this. I mean, this is way cool. I designed this on pine because it's uh, what I have a lot of right now. So, yeah, well, uh, check out that other video down there. That's me milling some pine. And then, you know what, I'll actually put a second video on it. I'll put me designing or I'm making the, um, the Eddard Stark tombstone. So you guys can check that one out too. And hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I hope you have a great day.